Welcome. <laughs> this is the season reading of uh, Aries for you, Aquarian. So, welcome, Aquarian, to the season of Aries. The season of Aries begin on March twenty-first until April nineteen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Let's go in and see what is here for um, you, um, Aquarians. Okay, remember, Aquarians, that it is all about the four significant things that is going to be coming up in the Aquarian season from March 21st until April 19. So remember, it's all about. Uh, um, four significant things that is going to be coming up and that is going to be transpiring all right so let's see we have the energy of the hangman the energy of the hangman is here what is this energy all about the energy of the hangman comes up it is a water energy it's a water element and whenever the energy of the hangman comes in it has to do with meditation it has to do with Pisces and it has to do with Neptune okay so it has to do with Pisces and it has to do with Neptune so whenever this energy comes up is as if um, the first week the week of the 21st until the 28th of March is as if you're in this meditative state okay you're going within trying to recognize and trying to get information from within you're connecting with your higher self and this is going to be extremely extremely powerful because what this is doing is helping you to accelerate um, your frequency and your energy in order to um, accomplish a whole lot of stuff okay so sometimes we need to go in the meditative state because we need to apply ourselves to certain situation in our world so in the first week you're going in words in order to recognize so, so you know do not push yourself the week of the 21st until the 28th just don't push yourself don't push yourself give yourself time you need to go within in order to communicate and connect with your higher self from the 21st of March until the 28th okay this is very positive a lot of you and um, Pisces people could be coming in to help you a lot of you you're going to be feeling very dreamy a lot of mysterious things could be happening with the energy of Neptune um, with the energy of the hangman this is about going within connecting with the higher self uh, and uh, moving forward in order to accelerate who you are as a person and this is going to be giving you a huge push moving forward on a very very positive note so um this is absolutely absolutely fantastic um you know um Aquarians, you're really coming in this uh, um, Aries season, really showing up and really going within, really going in to find the truth, to connect to your higher self, uh, um, to find out answers that you have been looking for. So this is absolutely, absolutely um, fabulous because what we're doing is that we're extending ourselves uh, in order to communicate. Uh, with our eyes self and to um, find out what it is that we truly are about and what we're looking for so this is going to be absolutely absolutely fantastic um, this is going to be given a whole lot of new sense to things that was happening in and around you you're going in to find answers and you will find the answers um, uh, Aquarians you will find the answers in this timeline and this period so um, this is the energy of water it's going to be um, really really positive it is going to be you going within okay then let's see what is it that you are trying to figure out uh, something about your materialistic stability and wealth so as you go within you're going to be creating your own materialistic stability and and, and wealth and this is going to be absolutely fabulous uh, um, because it's as if some of you are going in trying to find answers looking for how you can create your materialism and stability and this is going to be good because you're going to be accelerating 
you're going to be exhilarating and what is going to be transpiring is that it's going to be bringing you to a position where you're recognizing what it is you need to do what direction you need to go in because as you go in um, certain directions it is going to be bringing you prosperity wealth stability abundancy and prosperity a lot of you something that was lost is going to be coming back uh, some of you could be finding uh, um, unexpected money around the place or it could be um, unexpected things returning to you if something was stolen um, they could be finding it and is returning it to you so this is good you're going in within in order to build on your materialistic stability and this is going to be good because it's going to be aligning you in a very very positive direction and a lot of you if you were looking for um, some sort of a job offer it is going to be coming in a lot of you um, could be dealing with uh, a Sagittarian and they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian have took and stolen a lot of money okay they're going to be recognizing something about a Sagittarian if you have lost something a Sagittarian could be the one that has taken it okay so it's as if you're trying to figure out where is something you have lost a piece of jewelry or that sort of a thing it could be uh, something to do with a Sagittarian who have access this piece of jewelry and you're going to be recognizing that okay remember to go and check out the crystal go and um, check out the crystal in order for you to recognize what is going on let's look at the second week okay the second week you have the nine of cups in reverse okay so in the second week you have the nine of cups in reverse and we need to recognize um what is coming up why is this nine of cups is in reverse um, the nine of cups is in reverse because in the first week uh, you come to realize uh, um, that someone could have stolen um, something from you okay and whenever this nine of cups this is about water so the second week is about water energy and the nine of cups energy has to do with uh, um, the the Jupiter in Pisces Jupiter in Pisces okay and with Jupiter in Pisces this is the second week of the 29th until the 4th of April the week of the 29th until the 4th of April we have Jupiter in Pisces Jupiter in Pisces now it is in the reverse okay so it's as if in the second week the week of the 29th until the 4th this Jupiter in Pisces is letting you know that there is something um, that is missing and you're going to be finding out in the first week that it has something to do with a Sagittarian that a Sagittarian could have stolen from you in the past and you're going to be recognized this um, now in the future and this Jupiter is as if it, Jupiter in Pisces is about the luck it's a nine of cups it's about positive emotion and the second week you're going to be not so positive about it because you're going to be recognizing that someone has taken advantage of a situation and you're going to be seeing this so um, the second week of the 20 uh, 29 until the 4 another emotional week uh, this emotional situation is very very emotional because you're going to be recognizing that someone tried to take something that is yours okay some of you might not be feeling well some of you might be having someone who is not well in the family um, so you're not really really happy and feeling the emotional stability so that could be another thing where someone um, might not it could be you yourself or a family member who is not feeling well in the second week of the 29th until the fourth okay so your happiness where you always feel the self of happiness is not there in this week because there is some sort of a health issue that is here and it could be affecting a family member okay some sort of a health issue but this person is going to be okay 
this person is going to be okay all right so um you know this is wonderful because some of you were worried whether you were sick your parents were sick a family member was sick in the second week your emotion was a little bit off because you were worried um, so Jupiter in um, Pisces was a little bit in the reverse because you were worried but not to not to worry about it because everything is going to be resolving um, you are going to be recognizing that you're going to be feeling okay as you leave this week or you leave this airy season so this airy season is dealing with a situation it could be a Pisces um, that is not well maybe it's a family member your father your parents your partner but it's going to be okay all right and um, if you ladies are not feeling well it is going to be balancing out and you're really going to be feeling much better whatever that was happening and transpiring um, whatever um, you know your luck because Jupiter is your luck um, whatever luck whatever happiness and joy um, it will return it will return especially um, for the people who are thinking positive and using positive alignment of energy it will return okay so this is um this is absolutely wonderful and uh, beautiful even though the nine of cups is in reverse so let's look at the third week this is the fifth until the 11th the third week the fifth until the 11 and we have the nine of ones in the third week so uh, something is going to be a cycle is going to be over whatever is happening and transpiring a cycle is going to be over okay you have twice the energy of the nine um, some of you um, whatever the unbalance is in your life the nine of ones the third week uh, the 5th of uh, April until the 11th of April you have the nine of ones okay let's do it like this so the nine of ones energy let's bring it closer the nine of one energy is a powerful energy okay because this nine of one energy is going to be giving you um, as some sort of a um, stability this is fire energy okay and this is the Sun and moon the Sun and moon so all you guys whether Sun or moon rising um, these energies are going to be affecting you especially this nine of one the Sun and the moon this is about protection this is about standing up this is about standing up and creating protection around you but it's in the reverse and in the week of the uh, April 5th until the 11th is as if your angels and guides are saying listen um, you guys you gotta stand up you gotta stand up you gotta face the music whatever is happening you gotta stand up and you gotta face the music and you gotta learn um, to also protect yourself okay so it is uh, um, some sort of a documents data that some of you could be waiting on I see some of you men uh, could be waiting on some sort of a document and data to come in so a lot of you men are going to be waiting on some sort of a documentation data to come in whatever is happening and transpiring I see a lot of you men is waiting on some sort of a document or data to come in and however um, this whatever is transpiring a lot of you are standing and waiting but I see a lot of conflicts a lot of conflicts is going to be coming up especially for men so you Aquarian men um, you're waiting on some sort of a resolution to a situation to a problem at the workplace in your personal life it's all about data and documentation and you're waiting 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 but there's a whole lot of conflicts around this situation a whole lot of conflicts is going on and you Aquarian men is like yeah resolve the situation this has been going on for um, far too long and this situation needs to be resolved so whatever is happening and transpiring a lot of you are going to be waiting on some sort of a data some sort of a information um, to come in but this data or information is taking longer um, than um, you should and some of you women also could be having some sort of a conflicts with your partner or a male family member in this um, 
third week the week of April uh, 5th until April 11 so expect um, this to happen a whole lot of communication a whole lot of conflicts uh, quarrels uh, um, waiting on information waiting on work to come in that sort of a situation but it's as if someone is holding up the situation and it's as if you guys are saying this problem this issue whatever it is it needs to be resolved and uh, we are waiting on the data and documentation in order to resolve this because this has been um, dragged out dragged out for a very very long time and now it is time to resolve a situation that has to do with data information it is data information it is documentation that a lot of you are going to be um, waiting on and I see that some of you men could be having conflicts some of you women could be having conflicts with a man um, in order to get some sort of a data and information and this is going to be where you're at uh, at the third week so the third week is like you're sitting down there waiting 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 for some sort of a data some sort of a information to come in whatever is happening and transpiring you sit just waiting 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 so in the first week you have a major arcana in the second week you have a major uh, um, um, you have um, the water energies and in the last week uh, you have the energy of the lovers okay and it is in the reverse so the last week you have the energy of the lovers and this energy of the lovers is emotional okay it is water energy energy of the love is always water energy and it's always about partnerships okay and uh, um, whatever the partnership is it can be a contract uh, um, what some of you are waiting on okay some sort of a documentation some sort of a contract some of you could be having um, um, problems with your partner and this is going to be the week of the 12 until the 18th the week of uh, the 12 until the 19 okay so April 12 until 19 some sort of a problem with a contract some um, of you could be waiting on some sort of a contract some sort of a documentation and it is taking longer than it should and what you're going to be recognizing you're going to be taking back your powers in whatever is going on because it's as if uh, there's a whole lot of conflicts around this contract or around this data um, that some of you should get a whole lot of conflicts and for some of you is a contract for some of you um, is some sort of a documentation that needs to you need to get and a whole lot of conflicts is around it so when we uh, look at the energy of the lovers the energy this is the energy of the lovers um, so this is going to be affecting marriages okay this is partnership so it's going to affect marriages because la namita is here it's going to be affecting marriages so some of you could find out that there's a third party in your marriage a third party in your relationship in this week you could be finding it out some of you women could be having problems with your marriage some of you women uh, could be involved in other people marriage and uh, and now they are having conflicts. So if you notice, La Amita is telling you something about some sort of a relationship and some sort of a problematic um, situation in your relationship. Men are having it with their wives, women are having it with their husbands. So obviously, this love is about a marriage couple that is having some sort of an issue, and uh, um, some sort of a news could be coming in. And this is what I said it could be that some of you who are married got some sort of a message that there is a, a third party in your marriage okay so ladies you could be recognizing this or men but some sort of a news is going to be coming in in the week of uh, um, the 15th until the 19th uh, the 12th until the 19th where there is going to be some sort of a news message that is coming in and it is about your marriage your relationship your love affair how however you look at it you're going to be receiving some sort of uh, information about your marriage or relationship okay 
and um, there is some uh, good news that could be also coming in even though the energy of the lover is in reverse this could be a situation where you're finding out something that someone there is an, um, an admirer that is out there um, your marriage um, could be over you're waiting for your you know the divorce to finally come true some of you could be receiving this that your divorce is final so um, this um, this um, period of um, the airy season is all about emotional it's a very emotional for you Aquarians whatever is happening and transpiring this is a very very emotional um, season that is transpiring and as we go back and we look at the energies we have the first week um, major arcana 21st until the 28th major arcana the last week the energy of the lover in reverse so some sort of a relationship problems marriage issue long-term relationship that sort of a situation but news is coming in and the, the, the so it's going to be emotion emotional and the emotional situation is going to be bringing some sort of a balance out of what because what we're seeing is that the third week the week of the five until the 11th is where a whole lot of conflicts could be coming up the week of the five until the 11th is where a whole lot of conflicts could be coming up so you gotta be aware and you gotta be alert that is going to be a very emotional season you are here and this is a the Aquarian the Aries season and Aries is fire okay in the week of uh, um, the 5th of April until the 11th of April you have uh, a fire energy and this fire energy is some sort of an information data um, and that is um, a situation with this fire energy it is as if information and data it is the Sun in the moon so a lot of you both sun and moon sign rising people are going to be affected by this and you're going to be recognizing um, that the third week is going to be a little off cast a little off balance um, because there is no supporting energies in this airy season for you guys it's water in the first week emotion in the first week in the second week is emotion in the third week it is a fire energy and in the fourth week there is a situation with marriage um, and uh, um, messages and marriages so um, you know this could be also a situation where some of you have not heard from your kids in a very long time or an ex lover wants to return okay but it is coming up as uh, the end of a divorce is here okay some of you this could be an ex lover that wants to get back and come back in good graces with you so you know this this season is affecting people in many many different ways and you know we got to recognize this and the two most significant week for you is going to be the first week and the last week these are when the major arcanas are coming in in order to resolve um, situation a sweet week the, the first week the second week is going to be good the third week is when you're waiting on some sort of a document data information um, having conflicts with other people so the third week is not really good but for the first week the second week and the last week the last week the news is going to be coming in that some of you were waiting on and it could be news over a contract it could be news that uh, um, you're getting divorced your divorce is finally it could be news from an ex lover who wants to return in your life and it could be news from your kids so these are the four significant situation that is going to be affecting you Aquarians um, in this Aries season and this is why I say to a lot of people come and listen to uh, the season readings because the season readings plays a very very significant role in your life and as we move forward we just have to understand um, the situation that is happening and transpiring and recognizing that we can change um, the whatever is coming up we have the power to change whatever is coming up and we have 
weeks by weeks that we know that what is going to be affecting us and what to look out for and by that you can make changes in your life and in your world so this is going to be absolutely fabulous there's no question about this Aquarian it is going to be a really really um, um, emotional time but at the end of the day you're going to be coming out on top because you're going to be standing your ground you're going to be understanding where you are and what it is that you want in your life okay please remember to look at the crystal choose one of the crystal in order to see how to resolve one of the issues and problems that is coming up remember this is a crystal season reading so um, use the link below um, the links are below with the crystal click on the link it will take you to the page and you can um, choose whatever from the crystal that you choose choose the crystal because that is going to be helping you to make a decision I love you guys leave a message and I'm saying namaste until next time <laughs>